we are ready for the final step, and that is getting this thing public somewhere on the web. Now, Astra has some great documentation on exactly how to deploy your site, and there's a bunch of individual guides. So if you're using one of these services, take advantage of that. I'm going to scroll down here and just mention quickly that what we're going to do is use a continuous deployment using Git. In other words, every time we push to the Git repository, that will then automatically generate a build. And in our case, we're going to choose uh, Netlify. This is one of the hosts they mentioned that uses continuous deployment so that every time you add a new post and you push that post to your GitHub, it will automatically trigger a rebuild and then your site will be updated. So pretty cool, right? All right, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to do a couple things here first. Number one, remember you do need a Git repository and I'm assuming that you've committed everything. That's what I've done here locally. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop this server. And I'm going to come over to GitHub, and you can do this a bunch of different ways, but let's go ahead and just create a new repository. I'm going to call this Astro Blog Netlify. I'm going to create this as a new repository. And then because I have already have a repository and I've already committed everything to it, I'm just going to copy this and paste it in my local terminal here. So I'll paste this and hit Enter. And when it's done, if I come over here and refresh, everything should be there. There it is, all the stuff that we just committed. Now, just a quick note, this is not the repo in the description because I wanted to just do it off one branch like you might do. So that's why uh, I'm going to leave this thing private. So don't try to go here. Instead, go to the Astro blog. I think it's tutorial, but there'll be a link in the description. Now that it's up here, all I need to do is to go to app.netlify.com and I'm going to sign in with GitHub. Now it authorizes it here and it has a few sites that I've already done. I'm just going to click add a new site and I'll import an existing project. The provider I'm using is GitHub. It just double checks and I'm going to come over here and choose the Netlify option. This is the one that you'll actually want to reference if you want to see the finished code and each stage along the way. Now it's smart enough to actually look at my NPM package and figure out exactly what the build director will be, what framework I'm using. In this case, I'm using Astro and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to click deploy site and then it's going to start deploying the site. So let's give this just a couple of seconds and then I'll be right back with you. All right, it's done. In fact, if I go right here and I click on this, it shows it live on the web right here and everything should work just like it did in production. Obviously, I want it to have my own custom URL, not whatever this thing is. So we can set up a custom domain here or let me just go here and I'll, under options, I'll edit the site name. And then just to make sure I get this exactly correctly to what I put, I'm going to come grab all of this and assume that nobody else has titled something exactly like that. Now, I do want this to be the exact same wherever I publish it, because remember my site map, my RSS feed, all that stuff is based on this site variable. So I click save. And just like that, I now have access to that domain and all my site map and all that kind of stuff should work perfectly. Now, you might remember that we added a bunch of open graph tags. Let's go ahead and look at those. See, there's a bunch of places you can go to, but a lot of times I'll go to opengraph.xyz uh, and I'll just paste in that, that URL. Now it's going to scan that and look and see what it has. And this is how this open graph image will look. This is the default image that I shared. Obviously, it's just a screenshot of the actual app uh, of the website. But you can see how that open graph is coming through on Twitter, on Discord, anywhere that you would share it. So that's the advantage of all that SEO stuff we did a couple of videos ago. Now, if I come over to the blog here, we've got the ones that we already created. Let's go ahead and create another one, though. And we'll do it for like 12.6. And I'm going to show you how that continuous deployment works. So, so if I come under my pages and I go into my blog, maybe let's just duplicate this right here. And I'll change this to say 7. In this case, I'm going to change this to 12.6. And then we'll just say new blog post. Now I need to commit these changes and I can do that in whatever way you would typically do it. Let's just come over here and say like added new post. And then I need to make sure to add this so it's staged. And I'll come up here and commit and push. Now, the cool thing is if I come back over this way and I come up top here, you'll notice that it's already building based off of that new thing. And here's my Git message, added new post. I can come in here and watch the log. And by the time I got in here, it was already done. So let me come back over here to my blog. And that new post should be right here. There it is. So as soon as I push, it's already up to date. And here it is with everything else that's connected to it. Looks like this one is pretty much the exact same thing. Yep, just the different title. So pretty cool how you've got that continuous deployment as you add new markdown files. All your auto routes just work for you. You can see how I can go to next. And now I have three over here instead of just the two I think I had before. I hope you really enjoyed this series. I had so much fun putting it together. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and leave me a comment in the description. That's always a big encouragement. Like the video, of course, you can share it with others. That would be the biggest help. 
And then I want to say, again, a special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Right now, it's just a thank you, essentially. I don't have time to do extra stuff for Patreons, unfortunately. I would love to, but I just don't quite have the time right now on my schedule. So if you'd like to express gratitude and you want to do it that way, that would be great. No pressure either way. I hope you learned a lot about Astro, and I will catch you in the next video. Happy coding.